Angler's back with us, but you notice Kim and Alex aren't here because this looks extremely dangerous. <laughs> this is not. This is outside their contract. I know, but I'm the most expendable well, of the group. Well, you're you're a good guy this way. Hey, I was over uh, at Lenski Elementary mm -hmm. visiting the kids earlier this week, and so I, it's always fun to pick demonstrations. I picked this because I wanted to talk to them about electricity. Okay. It's one of those things that sometimes falls out of the curriculum, and and you think of electricity and so, look at you now you back up. Like, it's totally an extension cord, for goodness <laughs> sakes. A regular extension cord, hundred and 20 volts of electricity. Right. So many of us who are older were taught 110. Mm -hmm. Actually, if you put a meter on, it's 120 volts of electricity. Okay. Alternating current. So if you saw the movie uh, Edison, right? Uh, alternating, or what was it called? Uh, uh, voltage wars, or right. whatever that was. Um, current wars. Uh, there's a debate between alternating electricity and direct current. DC. Right, DC. AC and DC. This is AC. Uh, and take a look at this. You might as well plug in one of these old time bulbs. Does this make you feel old? Oh, when yeah. You're looking at a bulb like this that's no longer. <gasps> Sorry about that. There it is. There's 120 volts of electricity through a regular incandescent light. I bulb. should not have stared at that. No, you shouldn't have. I, I should have told you not to do that. All right, so here's how we change it. So this is 120. 120 volts can be dangerous. This is the kind of electricity that can go through your body. Sure. So you see the electrician every once in a while, uh, uh, an old technique. They take their left hand closest to their heart, and they keep it out of the equation. If they are wiring something or doing something where there's a little danger, wow. I, I know they should, everything should be off. But the, the only thing is you just don't want to complete that circuit and push it through no. your heart. Got it. Here's how we change. I was talking to the kids about when you plug your cell phone in, you don't need 120 volts. Your yeah. cell phone only needs 5 volts. So there's a transformer, a little box that lowers it. This is the opposite. This is a little this box. This goes the to, other way. Th Great. This raises the electricity. This is 120 volts of electricity that turns into 50,000. Listen. Hear it? Oh, yeah. It uh, okay. But you can't, can't really do anything with that. We need to see it. So why wouldn't you now fashion this? Home Depot is just like Legos for adults. You just walk the aisles and, and they're like, can we help you? And you go, probably not. Because here's the regular light bulb here. This goes in here like this. Right. And now, if uh, Chris, would you turn off the lights for us? Look at this. Watch this. This. Look at oh, this. Oh, wow. 15,000 volts electricity. All right, put the lights back on again so that Tom can actually see it. Tom, for hand flat on top like this. Feel that. That's 50,000 volts of electricity. Very warm. Yeah, well, yeah. Oh, and yeah. A zap you got on the a way zap. Out. No, wait. Smell your hand. That's the smell of ozone, so <laughs> it'll go away in three weeks. Right. But that's a wonder. Now watch, if you're hanging on to it, hold on okay. to it like this. Go ahead. If I touch you here, Ow. see? It's yeah. on your body. It's traveling yeah. on your body around totally. your body. Totally. So Don't this do is that. very cool. This is called a Tesla coil. It's changing 120 volts into high frequency 50,000 volts. So your body can become a human conductor of electricity. So you get to hang on to the fluorescent okay. bulb. <laughs> Isn't this great? I'm going to be the, okay. So, so now watch this. I'm going to hang on here, and then you're going to put your hand on top and I'm going to turn it on and you're going to see what's going to happen. Ready? Will you dim the lights for us? Watch this. You are a human conductor of electricity. Your body is acting as that wire that's carrying that 50,000 volts Do you know what that means? The top. What does this mean this now? Means it's the you're most, done having kids. It's that's the what it means. most valuable it's, I've been around here in years. <laughs> <laughs> so how wonderful to be able to talk about high frequency electricity. If you head to the local science museum, Denver Museum of Nature and Science, you'll be able to see a, a large Tesla coil that's able to light light bulbs just in the air and so that's what Tesla thought he was going to do. That's fun. It is fun. Thanks Steve. We'll Thank be you. right back.